Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the first round match between Gadernik and Storr. Um, Gadernik has 2k woodies. Storr has 1200 flings. Storr has got a chef, which has stolen some rerolls off of Gadernik. Uh, two, to be precise. And he's also got Morg. And he's also got Zara. Um, he does have flings. <laughs> Hilariously, Floor has a <laughs> Floor Store has a better record with with Woodies than Gadenix <laughs> with uh, with Woodies. Store has a better record with Flings than Store has. With, the, Store has a better record with Flings than Nick has with his Woodies. It's ridiculous. A better win percentage. Um, not a higher dodd math, but a better win rate on this team. Thirteen two one. He's gone with this Wood Elf team. Yeah, I'm pretty good, aren't I, Vili? For the benefit of YouTube, this is 9am. I've had four hours sleep. Um, so there you go. I'm a little confuzzled. Um, but yeah, that's a good start for uh, for store, isn't it? He's getting a 3D here. Pounds him into the dirt. So I guess he's just going to carry on, on Zara. He can always uphill strip Zara. He's got a rackle strip. Edge 5, so he's got an easy uphill on Zara, um, and of course he's got guards as well around, so he could well be able to 1D Zara as well. Um, the other alternative is to just give it to this Edge 4 and lob him. Um, but it's interesting, like, you know, he's, uh, that's a lovely start for him, isn't it? Now he can start fouling, potentially, uh, if he knocks anyone else down. And you could re remove a lot of players, but I mean, Woody's with 14 players is disgusting. Isn't it? Hello, Wolfbuff. We could indeed. No bribes. No bribes. Maybe it would have been better to knock, knock over a tree. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen the morgue. Blitz on the tree. Well, I guess then you get them both stuck on the tree if it's a push. But 75% knockdown on a tree is nice, isn't it? I guess I wouldn't have stuck anybody on the tree. Or opened it with more kicking the tree. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like getting the tree down. And the thing is, he, he stands back up, doesn't he? Because movement three. Mm, so I guess it, there's a lot of value. Hey, you could, might not stand up, though, isn't it? Because like, it's just this way you're getting your tree knocked down, which is kind of worse for you, isn't it? But then I guess if he doesn't knock you down, then, uh, then he's got two players on your tree. So of course, Gadenik has a lovely team, really two amazing dancers. Um, and the rest of his team's alright, it's just not as, like, <laughs> you'd be thinking this team was great if, if Shawnee wasn't in with his insane team. But the dancers are better than Shawnee's dancers, uh, by quite a lot. The rest of the team just seems a bit underwhelming just because of Shawnee's team being so good, I feel. Yes, Falk, yeah, of course, yeah. Good. Yeah, this is the sad. This is the sad one. One tree in the playoffs without movement. <laughs> Literally, all three Wood Elf teams have got a plus move tree, and then Stores other tree is plus move. <laughs> Thanks, Nataria. It wasn't even that unlucky, was it? I just overreacted. I just really reacted badly. I don't know why. <sighs> All right, and he got the pickup, which is important, isn't it? She hasn't got a, she hasn't got you know shoe runs or anything, so it was a pretty important pickup. He's got the L round the back. <laughs> I know, Volk. I don't know how to not care. I don't know how I don't know how Rick does it, honestly. I don't know how Rick does it. I wish I could just not care. I really do wish I could just not care. If you want to be part of Team Positive, 
Yeah, I, I know Dougie, it's just, it's just the rest of the team is not as good. Outside of the dancers, the rest of the team looks underwhelming, which is insane, just because of the rest of Shawnee's team looking so amazing. But yeah, overall, Nick's team is amazing, isn't it? Because the dancers are just godly. But the rest, of, the rest of the team isn't underwhelming. It just looks it because of Shawnee's team being so amazing. <laughs> That's what I think. Oh, a sidestepper. Gets the pow. Look a dog. Look a dog store. Disgusted. Hello, Ducky, by the way. Disgusted. How's the... How's the sidestepper? I like making the uh, I like making the kind of pointless uh, finger bus because at least it keeps the uh, edge four safe, doesn't it? Which is nice. Yep, so do I, Nathaniel. So do I. I mean, the main thing is just not caring, right? If you don't care at all, then then it's easy. It's literally easy if you don't care. But my problem is I do care. So. And I know I shouldn't care. <laughs> and that was that's the thing, especially with leagues, like you can't you just literally can't not care in leagues. Because you fucking had to build that team up for a fucking year or two years of your life. So you can't not care in leagues. And CCL, you can care less, but I still haven't mastered not caring at all. Indeed, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, well, fine. I mean, it's just care. It's literally just caring. If you just don't care at all, then it's it's a piece of piss, isn't it? Like all the games I'm shit at, I don't care at all about. <laughs> <laughs> every every time I play fucking Halo with my buddies, I'm always the worst there, and I just never give a shit about the game because I can't. I just can't win right from the start. <laughs> so I just I just never care in them. But the thing with Blood Bowl is it always fucking gets you, doesn't it? It always gets you. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, Pedro. <laughs> I agree with forcing that a little bit, because that's the obvious way to go, isn't it? He can uh, he can blitz and foul here. He's got the uh, stand-up two squares foul, so he, we could see a bit... Oh, he's got the player even, so he's got an even better foul. So he's got the stand-up move, two squares assist. We could see the big 3D coming in for... For a uh, morgue here, get up around this catcher and kick his fucking head off. That's my prediction for the turn. Not that I know how to play. Um, not that I know how to play halflings at all. <laughs> and stores the best in the world, I guess, at halflings. But that's my prediction. Hello, oh, the West. The thing is, it's just like hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's a very good point. Good morning, Oscar Douglas. Well, it looks like he is going for this, isn't it? It sure looks like he's going for this. It does leave the ball, as you say, a little bit exposed. I mean, not really exposed, but yeah, disconnecting from his trees is a bit risque, isn't it? Exposes the edge four, does it? Yeah. Somewhat exposing the edge four.
It is, yes. Yes, show me it. No need to make the GFI, is there? But no, nah, no, I guess there is, because he's... <laughs> yeah, there is, because he's got the guard here and he goes straight in for the 1D. <laughs> so yeah, he had to make that GFI. This is a real tempting target, though, isn't it? With dirty play, we're already making a move, isn't it, with it being the kicker as well. There you go. Well worth it. Well, maybe worth it. I mean, it's a brilliant result, isn't it? Does he app all this? Kick stops the one-turner. He doesn't apple it. Gadenic confident in his ability to beat halflings. I mean, it's not worth it if he loses the ball. Because he split up from his trees, is it? And loses the game because of it. It's not worth it. But... <laughs> but it's probably... It's obviously what, what Storr wanted to happen. There is obviously the positional cost, though, that he was willing to pay for it. So, in Storr's mind, it was definitely worth it, wasn't it? Whether that turns out to be the case or not. We'll find, we'll find out. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think it was worth it. It's what I would have done. And I thought it was t I thought it was worth it, but it yeah, but it's not just the the recovery this turn, Nyaga. It's the fact that the the trees are now split and screened, aren't they? So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, they're not screened yet, but they probably will be screened. But he hasn't got many players, has he? He has not got many players, is all Gadenic. Yeah. How would you have gone for it? Would you have gone for the, the, the uh, uphill or would you have gone for the 4 plus dodging? To make it a 1D. The old 75% in. I mean, th this was the problem, wasn't it? This was the absolute problem with doing that move. Is that now he split his team in half. And he's cut off. But he got the absolute payoff that he wanted, didn't he? He got the absolute payoff that he wanted. He got the removal for no send off. It is sad that he hasn't got the that he's got the move three on the tree, isn't it? But I guess it means that if he gets knocked over by the tree, he could stand straight back up again. I guess that's his thing. Yeah, he doesn't have to dodge, does he? He could. Um <laughs> he could dodge here and then he could blitz him put it put in there and then blitz him but then he hasn't got a lot of players left for the yeah one in nine I guess that's a one in nine dodge there Morg can indeed throw a teammate yeah and he's very good at it as well because he's got no bonehead or anything so he could put in a player here couldn't he and he could dodge him, and then Maul could blitz and get rid of the sidestepper. Maybe you just dodge with Zara. Maybe you dodge blitz with Zara and run back over here. But yeah, he did. I mean, he did really get get away from the trees, didn't he? He's just dodged the server. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you're fucking woodies, right? Like, you're fucking woodies. You're, you're flings against woodies, you know? 
you're going to have to fucking roll some dice, aren't you? And a, an 8 out of 9 dodge isn't that bad. So, fuck it, just go for the dodge. Yeah, I think you just, I think you just take the 1 in 9 dodge. Another removal. And this, this also this dodge is big, big, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 gets in behind the gets in behind the uh the two strength six pillars yeah i think i'm gonna move this guy first then he could have got further across couldn't he I, I don't like that honestly if he'd got this dirty player out of the way he could have gone one two three four five six couldn't he which would have been a lot better if you ask me would have been a lot better if you asked me i guess you know doesn't matter just your offense. I mean, your entire offense is pretty scary, isn't it? Against this fucking Wood Elf team. <laughs> the scariest part of most for most teams is early in your offense, isn't it? Against Woodies, but like with flings, it's it's pretty much your whole offense. <laughs> with with pretty much any team to be fair against like developed Woody teams like this, even if you remove them, that you you don't you can't stop them molesting your ball carrier, can you? Like even if there's only two, if there's only if there's only three players or even two players on the team on the field for Gdanik, he's still got decent odds of just leaping in, getting the ball, and getting out with it. Especially with three players, three players is all he needs, isn't it? And he's got great odds of just getting in and getting out. Yeah. Does he go for the uphill from the dancer? He could go for the uphill on the dancer, couldn't he? Get a pal and then get guarding and... Uh... <laughs> He's not going to. Ah, oh, he got the one in nine on the show feet. And that's the thing you can always you can always go for the leap in, can't you? Any time he wants. I didn't hit the seventy five percent guard dodge in that last turn. I guess he's got strip, hasn't he? So he's just anything except a skull and he gets the ball. Which is very nice of, isn't it? Michael Strip is a hell of a player. Oh, he's rolled a one. No reroll on the hit. Is he going to hit? Is he going to hit the halfling instead? Is he just not going to hit? Abort, abort, abort. If he skulls, he gets fouled to death, doesn't he? Like he puts everything into this foul if he uh, if he skulls. Oh, interesting. You could just try and dodge away. <laughs> <laughs> He could dodge back in 2D mode, couldn't he? Yeah, yeah. I oh, don't know, 1D mode. Oh, no, just dodge away. Just run the fuck away. Run the fuck away. He could have hit him, couldn't he? I didn't like that. He's blitz, right? And that's still a 2+. plus. So he could have just gone there on a 2, because he's had 5. So he went like that. He could have just gone straight there and then hit him with the last square. Bit of a mistake there from Gdanik. I don't hate. I don't hate the uh, giving up on the thing. No, not not if he dodged the right way. Like I mean, like obviously he wanted to finish him there. He didn't want him there. Like you know, he obviously wanted his dancer here in this square, and that's why he went that way. But he could have gone there and hit him, which I think hitting him was better. He could have just gone directly there and hit him, but he wanted him here. But I think hitting him is better than standing there. 
in my opinion. But who's to say whether I'm right or wrong? Hello, Dimmy. Guten Morgen. Oh. Good day, cocky. We're on upside down time at the moment with Gadernik playing. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to. He needs to spend his players' positioning, doesn't he? That's the problem. I love how the trees have just done fucking nothing. This is a bit risky, isn't it? This is spicy. Oh boy, it's happened. Oh god, that was. <laughs> That's so risky, isn't it? That's so risky. That's so risky. Oh no. Uh, I don't know if Stor thought this was his own tree, but that's not his tree. <laughs> so this is an easy 1D on the ball. Hello, Fatin. An elven, an elven legend. About 1,542 years old. Two D with that dancer, yeah, you can, can you? It's just a two plus through, yeah. No, no, it's not. It's two plus through here, yeah, yeah, two plus through there, yeah, yeah. That is better. That is better, and then you've got the edge five for the. Oh god, Zara is gone. Edge five for recovery. Oh, perfect scatter right next to him. G fucking G. Well, there you go. At least Star tried, didn't he? CCL is the yeah CCL is the normal season, and then CCL playoffs is the playoffs after it. It's not CCL anymore, actually. Is it? It's ranked, but it was historically CCL. <laughs> Copy, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's elves, isn't it? I mean, that is just literally elves. Oh! They always, they always, like, reduce the games to a few key roles, don't they? I don't know yet, Cookie. I haven't, uh, I haven't scheduled yet. I haven't scheduled yet. Key and Dare suggested 9 p.m., which is on the late side for me. So I'm gonna fucking p.m. and sort it out. C'est une passe longue. Vont-ils réussir à l'attraper? Si le joueur début champ du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blackpool, c'est une très mauvaise idée pour lui. For me, it is yeah to like think. <laughs> yeah, but. I'm Mindlessly streaming at 3 a.m. Do me, I'm not, I'm not thinking at 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm like Among Us singing or, uh, or what's the other one? You know, Warhammer or Battle Brothers or whatever. Something easy, not the ball. Right, so he's got to hit the tree and then mortgage it up, hasn't he? He doesn't even need to hit the tree, he just mortgage it up. Dodge that way, innit? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, double GFI, let's go, champ. Not, not, not using his wizard. Interesting. Maybe he's given up now that he's lost Zara. That's just, what a blow that was, wasn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> not watching, I'm right. <laughs> it was a good laugh, though, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. Well, there you go, he did the move, he got the result. Glorious. Now, what the fuck does he do? 
<laughs> now he just gets a fling abused every turn. Watching, watching the game. Uh, two drunk flings. This is Gdanik versus Store in the playoffs. <laughs> Yes, yeah, the game Glorious. is live. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. The best victorious. fling coach on and planet Earth. Defend. No offense, money, <laughs> but <laughs> store's gimme, actually gimme, good. Gimme a man after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see that from Fun Fox 30 minutes ago. But thank you very much, Fun Fox, for staying fantastic for 15 months. These poor woodies can't stay away from the win here. Thank you very much. And Aurel is 49 months. Four years. 12 beaver pregnancies. Dimmy, dimmy, dimmy a man after midnight. Glorious. Thank you very much, Aurel Ensis. Oh, yeah. What time is it, UK? 9 a.m. Cocky. 9 a.m. Which is pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just rough for the rough for the flings now, isn't it? No, no, now, now he just gets fucking abused every turn. It's just, it's just horrible. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not horrible. <laughs> oh, he's only got two turns though. One, two, three, four. And he's he's got to hand off with Morg, and then f throw with a tree. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, they did well the first few turns. The first few turns, look, he made removals, he got rid of the kicker, he did things, he got his team back connected. I didn't like that he, he moved the way he made this team. I would have rather had the tree involved in the cage, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if that mattered in him losing the ball, but I would have rather had the tree involved in the cage. Um, and then, yeah, it was looking it was looking not as bad as you would think at one point. But now it's looking as exactly as bad as you would think. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Morg certainly worth his money, isn't he? Blitz hoping for a pal. <laughs> Run up here. The, the tree is free now, at least. So you could bolt, blitz, m move around. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not rough, isn't it? It's rough. He's just gonna blitz up for a pal. Gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Removal to so the sidestep doesn't matter. Oh, boo. <laughs> oh dear. You love to see it. But he just can't get in the scoring range, can he? That's the sad. That's the tragic thing. Even with the dodge and the double GFIs, he wouldn't be in a scoring range with Morg. So he's got to hand off somehow with Morg. Which means I guess he's got to have the fling back ready to hand off to. And another fling up there is an outlet. <laughs> the old tree cage. Maybe he just gives up on the score here. Eh? Maybe he just gives up on the score. No, oh, rip. Yeah, I think he basically had given up on the score there with that GFI. Just to protect Morgan it and not go in 1 0 down. But now... <laughs> you have indeed an absolute dice in. 
Yeah, it is desperate, isn't it? Yeah, passing to the... That's the thing, that if you bolt and pass, then you're probably not scoring, and you're probably wasting your wizard, and you're probably increasing the chances you get scored on, aren't you? Just leaving it on Morgan, and getting in it nil-nil is fine, I guess. Puts the onus on Nick in the second half. He'll be happy if he can get out of this at nil-nil now, won't he? I think he had to adjust his, adjust his expectations when Zara was cast. Don't know yet, Crazy Lima. Need to uh, need to PM key in there. <laughs> it's not at 9 p.m. Dimmy, you dick. <laughs> but at 9 p.m. tonight is uh, is the JFW. There you go. Fast lane. So yeah, he just gets two DMs. He really needed that GFI. Really needed that GFI. Oh god. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny when it did me. <laughs> uh, it would have been funnier if we'd known that you weren't that you were abandoning him. And we didn't know the rules ourselves, but it was still great. There hasn't been a card made, no, no, sadly, he wanted to do it yesterday with uh, the school rub, but we didn't get it done. I could do one myself, I guess. Rip. Ripperoni. He could have, this guy's in range, isn't he? So it's not like he could have just blitzed this dude. This guy's probably in range as well. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. You could dodge, no, I guess it just dodges. Oh. All the belts are on the line. Which I didn't think was necessary, but there you go. <laughs> does, he, uh, does he 2D Morg? He'd have to dodge him out, wouldn't he? Oh no, he wouldn't. Oh yeah, he just dodges him. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, that's better, isn't it? I was trying to be too fucking... Too fucking clever there where it wasn't required, was it? Just score. Just score and that's it. Dimmy the chip. Well, the flings have been wrecked. The chef steals two rerolls again. Cette équipe doit rester calme et concentrée. Où ils vont finir par rendre le ballon à l'équipe gagnante encore. But now Store still got eleven, has he? Yep, he's still got eleven. And Nick's probably yeah, Nick's still got eleven as well. It's so powerful, isn't it? Woody's Woody's with such a vast bench is pretty disgusting. Yeah, you know, he had some good luck as well, didn't he, Story? It hasn't, it hasn't really been a dicing. It was just... <laughs> yeah, it was a horrendous matchup, and then the hit the hit from Gadena getting the cars was just... Just brutal, and it just ended him. Just fucking ended him. <laughs> Big arms grips. <laughs> Probably black and blue, but uh, he'll be happy about that. <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely the worst. For, for winning the game, it's absolutely the worst, Woody's, isn't it? You know? Like, who cares if flings die against Chaos teams and that? No, nobody cares. But how do you even beat Woody's? <laughs> Especially when you can't even just beat them by casting them all. Yeah, flings are, flings are terrible. <laughs> flings are absolutely terrible. So, you know, it's, it's amazing that Star's gone 13-2-1. 
against CCL starting teams. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, you know, it's a different animal, isn't it? Playing two thousand woodies in the in the playoffs, coached by Gdanik. I mean, they are Volk. They are. They are as horrible as people think. They really are. They're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. <laughs> Flings are absolutely terrible. Now, of course, really good coaches like Stork can still get really good results with them. I.e. better record than, than Gdanik and Shawnee got with Woodies against the field. 13-2-1. Absolutely incredible. They are definitely better than Olga's. <laughs> Sorry, Tudor. It's true, isn't it? They're terrible, you know? Hey, look, at the end of the day, it doesn't... Uh, it, you know, <laughs> Olga's are definitely worse, yeah. Olga's are definitely worse. And Goblins are worse. But, um... Yes, Lost Mystery. Yeah, they, the stand-up is only because of the movement, too. Because they haven't got the three movement to stand up. So... Movement, one of the best things you can get for a tree. Yeah, they're terrible. Like they're still, they're still, they can still easily win against a lot of players and a lot of teams. Like I'd, I'd, I'd take flings above chaos at a thousand TV. You know, um, I'd st still say they're definitely. I'd still say they're definitely bad. I wouldn't say they're fine. <laughs> I'd say they're still bad. <laughs> but, again, a lot of it matters against who they're playing against, doesn't it? You know? A lot of it matters against who they're playing against. The problem with the problem with uh, 2020 is all the fucking dwarves, isn't it? <laughs> the problem is all the fucking dwarves. <laughs> The Sea of Dwarves. Is uh, there's no Zara? Is there? there's almost a better Zara, right? Because you very very rarely stab with her, so Carlavon Kill is just like a cheaper Zara, which is nice. <laughs> and there's still halflings. Like against against most normal coaches, a good coach with flings has, has got a really good chance. And a bad coach has got a decent chance to dice them as well, right? With loads of fouling and stuff and hitting them with three mighty board players every turn. But uh You know. Realistically. It's okay that they're terrible. <laughs> And like even dwarves, isn't it, with all the tackle, like they're all they're all strength three, so they don't like facing the three strength six players. Grim was terrible, so yeah, dwarves get dwarves really get a nice one. The problem is the tree is uh the tree is uh Deep root move, move two, isn't it? Which is not what dwarves want. <laughs> I think Griff is better for dwarves, really. If dwarves are down TV, they probably want Griff more. Yeah. Sticking Griff on a move 14 is pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> And it means if you download TV, you can get like Griff and a Wiz. Uh, because they simplified everything, Pedro. They just simplified everything they like made. Rather than stars play for teams, they play for teams with special rules. And then they gave those special rules to, like, you know, shared between the good guy races, basically. Yeah, dwarves are very powerful, but they suck. <laughs> and like, flings are very unpowerful, but are great. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, it depends on how you define suck. 
I'm pretty sure Nick just scores here and wins, doesn't he? I don't know, I don't know. can he win here easily? I guess not. I guess there's not... He wants to score with less dice than this, doesn't he? He'd really like to score with, like, zero dice. Or close to zero dice. I mean, fl flings are characterful, aren't they? You know, they've got that going for them. But they're definitely shit at winning games of Blood Bowl, <laughs> despite Store being 13 2 1. You know. <laughs> it does look like a blog actually show sure feed tree, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's good. It does give it does keep give people the out when they lose. Yeah, yeah. That is very nice getting the out when you lose. <laughs> Hashtag no hit. This team's great, by the way. <laughs> Halfling team. The, the, the trees are core and PTK. And every halfling is hashtag no hate. <laughs> Apart from this one that was a journeyman. <laughs> All the named ones are hashtag no hate. <laughs> oh, He's on the pitch, yep. He's, I think it's just badly hurt for his kicker. Yep. He chose not to apo him, despite it being a very good player to apo. Because he thought he's definitely going to beat halflings, which is fair enough, isn't it? Even though it's stall. It's past tense K Fog, uh, was originally Coffee, because obviously his name is K Fog. K Fogged. You know, spelled K Fogged, isn't it? It's spelled K Fogged, so therefore past tense K Fog. Or, you know, K Fogged, whatever. And then and then you can also, because he was called Kev by El uh, Elpmeme, you can call him Primetime Kev. So yeah, it's, they're both they're both K Fog. Core Furo, who is, who is one of the greatest of all time at Blood Bowl, and somebody on my YouTube said, I just can't stand his fucking voice. <laughs> Hashtag no hate. No, Shawnee. I'm not a performing monkey. Oh, well, there you go. That's that's the tree cast. Oh, for the woodies, the woodies trees cast. And what is it? Miss next. Interesting. Does he just pass here? Could just two plus pass to the. Uh, Dancer and score. <laughs> how does a tree get a growing screen? It's a, it's a good question. I mean, how does the tree do anything in this game? Is the, <laughs> is the thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny. <laughs> he later said, like, he didn't mean anything bad in all this, but it was pretty funny. And there's another one gone. A nice little bit of SPP farming for Kadenik. Hope, hoping to get this dance at a 176 throughout the, <laughs> throughout the course of the rounds. <laughs> no, maybe not, eh? Maybe, maybe should have just blitzed with somebody else to try and level them. But, um... If you can't level anyone, then that's the best, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like not going for the risk in the game on the 2+, plus, but then on the other hand, we could see a, a wizard at 5 recovery and a 1-1, one one, couldn't we? By the Rebel admin team. <laughs> and then if Stor wins the toss. Hey. It's bad times for him. It could be the wiz turn, yeah. 
Yeah, could oh, be. Mate, yeah. I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? You take voids? You seem to know a lot about them, mate. Fuck <laughs> off. The ball like goes to here. That's probably bad because of all the tackle, but still. One, two, three, four, five. Cheer five, cheer five. You can still get out. So he needs it not to be one of these three. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Hand it off to him. So that's that's kind of irrelevant because the ball going to one of these three is fine for him. So uh, this isn't great from Gdanik here. Because this is basically, it's essentially irrelevant. If it goes here, he's fucked. Um, he doesn't do the wizard. He doesn't do the wizard. Doesn't do the wizard. He could throw a fling at him. I think dropping the bolt would have been would have been the player. Like five out of the eight scatters are good for you. And then you just steam in, pick it up with your edge five, dodge out, hand it off, go back, lob him. And he's free, isn't he? You even get a turn of stall out of it. Maybe he was trying to tempt the fireball, but even then you you fireball these three, don't you? You fireball these three because they're opening your path to it. I kind of don't like that, you know, by not going for the ball here, he's probably not going to get a better chance to go for the ball, is he? That's, that's the thing. I think I think Bolt was the play there. I think Bolt was the play. I mean, you, you could fire ball here as the flings just because you know you've got to get lucky to stand a chance. So, like... You know, if you bolt, you got a shot, haven't you? If you fireball, you could get super lucky. But you've got to get luckier than if you bolt. Yeah, I think so, Volk, yeah. I think he had the bolt. I think he had the bolt. Or fireball. You know, you, yeah, you got to whiz, because Nick can just score, can't he? You can just hand off score. Oh no, you can hand off this guy and score. Hand off, just hand off score. He's not going to hand off, he's going to stall it out. And, uh, now he has to whiz. Now he just has to whiz this turn. There's no, there's no choice now. Now there is no choice. And he's only got the edge 4 back for recovery, not the edge 5 anymore. <laughs> Ban fireball. <laughs> Yeah, baiting the whiz. <laughs> oh, come on, Shawnee. I can't believe you were such a dick about that. <laughs> Just saying, I play perfectly, so baiting something is a, is a terrible idea. And would never work. It's pretty. It's a pretty fucking ignorant thing to come out of. Loads of people make suboptimal decisions, and you could bait somebody to make a bad decision. It doesn't that you know. Why would anybody ever whiz? <laughs> Other than a perfect situation. Loads of people would. Like you know, he wasn't in scoring range there, was he? He wasn't in scoring range. I, okay, technically he had a play in scoring range, but there's loads of times when people would whiz, you know, badly or whatever. You know, and they would see their eyes would get bigger than their belly, and they'd think, "Oh, I can, I can really benefit from this. Look at that! There's five players I can fireball." Just because you wouldn't fall for it doesn't mean that other people wouldn't. Lots of people are terrible at football. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Nope, he's rolled a one. That could have been the bolt. Big mistake from from Stor there. And not Stor, Gdanik. Now that one should have been the bolt. He's got a ball now. I guess he could fireball, right? He could just fireball. He would have hit with a fireball as well on a six. He could have fireball, like he just could have done. It's not even bad just because he's just because, you know, it's so terrible, isn't it, being halflings? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fucking terrible being halfway. Does he, uh. Does he just go for the edge for play? And then throw with Morg? No, he doesn't. I wouldn't have hated that, you know. I wouldn't have hated the Blitz. 
the blitz from the fling to free Morg. And then, uh, and then he could have gone like what three, four, five, and then more could have. I know he wants to hand off to him, and then more could have thrown him, couldn't he? Yeah, he could have gone. Ah, oh, so another one would have had a blitz. The edge five or something would have had a blitz. Yeah, he's got to he's got to go in out and hand off to him, hasn't he? And then the tree comes back and throws him. Okay, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's got to be the play, hasn't it? Just dodge through tackle, doesn't matter. Hand off to him. No, that's not the play. I think the play was to hand off to that guy and then throw him. Oh, yeah, this is a 3 plus pass, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that, that, I guess that works. And then just run away with him. Oh, don't pass, no, just, just hold it. We just get smashed by a dancer. <laughs> That's the problem, isn't it? Just getting fucking obliterated by a dancer. He did have this. He did have this catcher back here, didn't he? Catcher Lino back here. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risque. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. Même la glace ne l'arrête pas. Yep, I don't. Don't like this. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to like anything, though, are you, at the end of the day? It's fucking halflings against woodies. And now it gives him a turn for it to get safeties back, doesn't it? Which he's just instantly got. A guy that you can't deal with now. In the backfield. I think he had to, like, hand off to that dude and then throw him. Personally. Because he could have thrown him over, and he only had this guy back, didn't he? He could have thrown him up. He could have like gone back too with his tree, lobbed him over about here, and then ran up there. It wouldn't have been good, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, he could just run. I mean, not even all the not even all the elves, just two or three elves, and it's completely undealable with <laughs> the halflings, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a unique situation, isn't it? Because your team's just so bad that you just can't win by playing properly, basically. It's a slight exaggeration because obviously we've seen Elliot play it really conservatively and do well with halflings, but you almost just can't play it. You know, conservatively can you this against this team. <laughs> Another removal. Oh, God. <laughs> this dancer just carving his team apart. <laughs> Six cars. <laughs> I mean he, he did he did one season with with flings it was like amazing how he was just uh, I believe he, he beat I think he beat like a, a streamer in the first round um, with a with a, just an amazing team and he beat them with uh, halflings I don't know if anyone remembers that but he, you know he was super conservative and it looked like you thought he was gonna have to you know do something rowdy, but he just carried on playing totally conservatively, like super conservatively with halflings, and it worked. But you kind of, I don't think you can rely on that. I think, you know, when there's strength four dancers and edge five dancers around, I think feel like you've got to really try.
trying to get lucky. Oh, did he? Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he did. He, he, smashed, he just smashed the shit out of tables. Chaos. Yeah. He won easily. Um, yeah, I mean, it was Elliot flings to be fair. So, but yeah, Elliot was just like massively, massively. Uh, they got the semis once, I believe. I believe. Can't remember. Was it Larkstar? Was it Larkstar? Got the semis. Yeah, a bit of both. A bit of both, really. A bit of both. Oh! But it was just surprising how conservative he was, you know, because I would have thought, oh, this is horrible. <laughs> You've got to push your luck to do something, is what I would have thought. But Elliot just, just kept his head down and kept playing conservatively, and, and then obviously it worked. Ooh, finally Morg does not come up big. Morg's been Morg's rolled really good dice to be fair. Finally doesn't there. And in general, Elliot will always like do things that keep him in the game rather than like, you know, do the make or break plays. And, you know, more often than not, it pays off, doesn't it? Especially against usual CCL-level opponents, <laughs> you know? If you just keep giving them the slightest chance to fail, they'll probably eventually grasp it with both hands. <laughs> but I feel like against Gdynik here, he's not going to mess up massively and he's not going to give you a good chance, is he? But, you know, maybe he will. I don't know how Larkstar played it to be I I didn't watch any of that. That was when I was really hitting Blood Bowl. So he's going for the three plus here. I mean this is not easy. Gets it. Look a dog. Look a dog. I mean that was a good chance there, wasn't it? One and nine. Well that's it, you know, like relying on your opponent failing the one and nine is just not as good as trying to roll a four plus yourself, is it? Or a, th or a five plus yourself. You'd rather be trying to roll a five, even a six, right? If you've got a re-roll, you trying to roll a six. In fact, even if you don't have a re-roll, you trying to roll a six is better than hoping your opponent fails a one in nine, isn't it? Because a one in six is, <laughs> is, is more likely than a one in nine. <laughs> Probably none. I can say with <clears throat> almost 100% certainty non-HTK. <laughs> <laughs> happened yesterday, yeah, but I would say, yeah, but you know what I mean, though. But like most people wouldn't fucking do the one. Most people wouldn't just go for the one dice to power blodger. Most people would be like, oh, I'll base the ball, hope he fails the dodge, which is just, just bad, isn't it? It's just literally bad. But, and it's not always as obvious as that. But Elliot has qualified with every single race, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he should have done coffee, yeah. I feel like he should have done. Just go 2 0 up, kill the game. Because stalling isn't even that good. Anyway, is it? Because he could fucking, like, you know, you 1 0 up. It's. Just score and kill it. Uh, last season it was, I believe. I believe it was last season. Or the season before last, one of the two. Was it a few back already? Oh well. <laughs> Two or three. Vamps, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that was that wasn't that long ago. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty recent. Right, 
Right, what's the what's the play here, Stort? Has he got his edge five anywhere? Yeah. Does it matter? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then lob him. And then just get smashed by a dancer or stay there and get smashed by a dancer. Take your pick. Yeah, but <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, Timmy. <laughs> no offense to Rick. Elliot's got him, got him soundly beat on the blood ball from, hasn't he? And they're both, they're both lovely people. So. That's fair enough, yeah. That's fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so at least he's tagged him. There's a there's a one in thirty six chance of the dodge fail. Do you just make this three dice? I guess you do, right? Because you one nil up. So just make it three dice. <laughs> yeah, PC. That's my suspicion as well. Oh my god. I don't like not making it three. I genuinely don't like that. I feel like there's no reason not to make it three because. Okay, you're 75% knocked down there, but just make it three, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think you have to make that three. Like, it's so easy to make it three. You've got these other guys that are, like, you know, basically free. Oh, he wasn't free. Okay, right. Sorry, he was behind the tree. I take it all back. I take it all back. It was right to do the two. <laughs> yeah, it was somewhat interesting, wasn't it? He got pretty lucky at first, but then, you know, got unlucky and just got punished instantly. I mean, it was pretty much game over what one Zara got cast. It was pretty. It was pretty much over. It was interesting for the first three or four turns. <laughs> I think. I think actually, Storm messed up with not moving his dirty player out of the way. Punching sand. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Ori Lentis. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he tosses the the fling. What a tosser. And that's kind of alright, isn't it? It's given him a chance. It's given him a chance. <laughs> Getting his scoring threat. And he doesn't get the foul. <laughs> and he gets cast. <laughs> okay. And then he gets super fling, surfed, and then Gdanik probably doesn't score again. 
Depends what SPPs this guy's on. Maybe he scores on the catcher. Maybe he scores on the guard catcher. He still goes up, hasn't he? I guess he can score on the guard catcher. He would like block on him as well, wouldn't he, at some point? No, there was certainly a valid argument for just running away and winning 1 0. But. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Powered. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Hello, Femi. Yeah, very early. Yeah, that's a very good point, though, no, Joe. He should have just taken that. Right? In fact, he shouldn't have even surfed. Uh, could he have not surfed? No, he couldn't not surf, could he? Yeah, he could have just hit from the other direction, couldn't he? He could have just not surfed. He shouldn't have surfed at all. Could have hit from another direction, couldn't he? So he should have. He shouldn't have even gone for the surf. Probably just autopiloting. Exactly, fear me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and do more commentary and coaching. And less playing. <laughs> it was fucking horrible. Because <laughs> Blood Bowl's just fucking horrible. <laughs> Yeah, he's just got some shit to go on the other hasn't he? I guess it doesn't matter taking three mighty blow hits and the dirty player foul. Oh no, the dirty player's cast. Alright. Oh, thanks, Rick. Don't watch the VOD, Rick. <laughs> Hopefully had earplugs in for, for one comment. <laughs> nah, it's alright. It's fair enough, isn't it? I do I do think Elliot's better. I think that's fair enough. I think he's better than most people, so it's not, it's not bad. Twenty quid I think Murloc Joe. Twenty quid. I need to sort it all out, how, how, how to do it. I haven't really, uh, I haven't really put any time or thought into it. For, for you it's a fiver, didn't it? Because it's so much easier with you. <laughs> in shots, infinite. <laughs> When's the Amaranth commentary? I'm not. I'm, I'm not Artemis. So, no. Well, there you go, he scores. I think that should have been his fucking game plan from the start. On, genuinely, I think that should have been his game plan. I know it's kind of lame, right? But if he had just scored a one turn. on his first drive, then Nick's got to score early and try and turn him over and then that makes it interesting, doesn't it, you know? And if Nick stalls, he gets the one back, I think he probably should just like, I don't know, like, things are so shit that he probably, I would have just probably just left my good players on the bench. <laughs> I would have probably... You know, like, I'm not saying Star's wrong, because obviously Star's great. He's gone 13 2 1 with flings. But, like, how do you beat this? How do you beat this Wood Elf team? Like, it's ridiculous, isn't it? And it looked like he had a good chance for a while. Yeah, it looked like he had a good chance for a while until until Zara got cast out, and then it was pretty much over, wasn't it? Congrats, Star. It was a great run. I mean, a great run, wasn't it? 
13 2 1 is, is insane on the ladder. But um, this was maybe the worst possible matchup, wasn't it? Because Shawnee's team's better, but Nick's dancers are better. So this is this was probably the worst possible <laughs> the worst possible matchup for these flings. Um, so there you go. You can go. You can go. You can go to Diced or Not and find out that you were indeed diced. Yeah, that's that's the important thing, isn't it? Let's look at the dice. Oh, there were some dice. The dice rolls. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Um. There were dice rolls. <laughs> Good dice rolls from Nick, look. 10, 10, 20. Well, 10, 10, 19. 25, 23, 21. Bad block dice for the flings. Horrible GFIs. Amazing take roots. Right, it just is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day, it was always going to be hard for store. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, well played, Gadenic. Well played, Store. Um, and obviously, good luck the rest of the way. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.